Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Okay, Matthew. Matthew. You got not striker today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just nice one. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you, Oh, it's right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Matthew, are you there? Oh, hello. I'm here. Hi. I'm here. Great, great. Hi. Good evening, everybody. All our viewers here. Today is our 10th episode, and to celebrate the past successful show, we have moved to a weekly Saturday slot, 8 30, time slot called Lifestyle Show, which is L I V E capital style show. Now, nothing has happened, uh, nothing has changed except the name, and we have more things to talk about. So, today we have Shivers, D program, Z in our show, and we'll talk about various ways to drink Shivers and of course, sun protection. My name is Elaine. I'm a lifestyle content creator on Instagram and TikTok with the handle at MS Elaine Heng. Uh, I blog on www.misselaineheng.com and founder of Elaine Heng Image Consultancy. And my co-host is Catherine. So Catherine, Hi. over to you. Hi. Hi. My name is Catherine. I'm the founder for Baba Mamar, a parenting website, as well as the principal brewer for Kombucha Mama. Okay. Um, today we're gonna do things a bit differently. Usually in the past, we usually do um, a one week of giveaway, but today we are going to do um, to announce our giveaway for D program and ZA at the end of the show. So all viewers, everybody, please stay tuned until the end. We will pick the winners and then we will announce it at the end of the show. Okay. Yep. That's right, Catherine. And to our viewers here. One tip, yeah. if you want to win um, the giveaway, you should start sharing the video right now. You should like the video and follow all the accounts, you know, the Facebook accounts that's in the caption. Yeah, our resident uh, expert today includes Dolly. And uh, she's, from, she's from, she's the founder of Makeup Entourage, Jerome, which is our Singapore top fashion stylist and runway show producer, and Victor, sommelier and trainer. Okay, hey, today we have a special guest. His name is Matthew Perry, the Schweiker we're talking about. Okay, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Schweiker means uh, uh, start, you know, handsome guy, okay? So I think everybody's been saying that about you and you don't know what you're, we're talking about, I know, okay? So um, Matthew is a brand ambassador for Shiva's Brothers. And um, Matthew, we would like you to share with us the history of Shiva's and also about... Uh, Shivas Mizunara. Yeah, lovely. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's very nice to spend a Saturday evening um, talking to people, uh, especially since lockdown has kind of killed all my social interactions as an ambassador. So, um, as you said, I am the brand ambassador for, um, it's called Shivas Brothers. So, it's a company that looks after various brands, but most of all, the popular one we're looking for is Shivas Rudel. So, for those of you who don't know Chavez Rudel, we are one of the world's um, first blended Scotch whiskies, And of course, we've kind of, we can trace back our history to 1801. There we go, a lovely example there. And um, there's just so, so much in the history. And I know we've not got, we've not got a, lot of, a lot of time to talk about it, but I'll give you a kind of few key, um, I guess, a few key insights into Chavez, and of course, a few key insights into this beautiful liquid everyone has tonight, which is the Chivas Regal Mizunara. So for those of you who are whiskey drinkers or who are not whiskey drinking, then what I love about Chivas is that everything you need to know is on the box. And so for me as an ambassador and as a very forgetful person, I can always look and everything is on here for me. So first of all, the name Chivas Regal, where does it come from? And the first part of the name is Chivas, and that's named after the Chivas brothers, James and John, who actually founded the company. And the company, as I said, can be traced back all the way to 1801. So if you can try and like imagine rural Scotland, so um, there's basically in two farm hands, not got a lot of money, and um, part of a big family, and they want to earn more money. It's like a nice rags to riches tale. So these two brothers thought, okay, what we'll do, we're gonna walk from our remote farm in Abuja, and we're gonna go to the city um, and try and get the big city life. So kind of like me, coming from a small town in the UK over to Singapore. We're in, suits, in pursuit of a better life and in terms of some more money. <laughs> so basically these guys went to Aberdeen 
and they started to work in a grocery store. And this grocery store sold things like ox tongues, they sold wine, and they also sold single malt whiskies. So we're in the 1800s here. So if you think about single malt whiskies today, um, such as the Glenlivet, some people may know, um, a single malt whiskey comes from one distillery. However, so it, it basically means you get quite a consistent taste. But back in those days, I mean, the taste wasn't very good. It was very harsh and not much consistency. So the brothers thought, okay, um, why don't we experiment and begin blending whiskies together? So they thought that by blending different whiskies, you can choose different flavor profiles and you can make a whiskey um, that you want to make. So it means that the whiskey is more consistent and it means you can get a more smooth, rich and generous profile. And um, for anyone who is a whiskey drinker or who isn't, um, just know those three words for Shiraz, smooth, rich and generous. And you sound like you know that you've been drinking it for years. You sound very good. So okay. if we fast forward to 1909 and we have um, the first ever Shivas Regal 12 that was released. And that was the only whiskey that was available in the portfolio all the way till 1997. Um, following that, in 2014, uh, we released um, Shivas Regal Mizunara. So this bottle in itself, I'll show you the actual liquid. Um, this is actually a, it's like a little love story between two whiskey making um, countries. So obviously Scotland is huge for Scotch whiskey. And nowadays you see Japanese whiskies are hugely popular as well. And to be honest, absolutely delicious. Um, every very good whiskey is in their own right. So our master blender, so Colin Scott, who is the fifth generation of person who would blend the whiskies, went to Japan on a trip. And um, kind of like me coming here, um, he was given a glass of Shivas um, with some tea poured inside um, with green tea. And he was like, okay, this is crazy. He tried it and he loved it. And then straight away, he kind of started looking more into the relationship between Scotland and Japan. And we discovered that the, the grandfather of Japanese whiskey um, who founded some different distilleries, I'll not say the names because they're competitors, but you, you can think of a well-known Japanese brand. And he actually <laughs> went, to, he went to Scotland to, um, to look into the distilleries and he actually went to Longmorn Distillery um, to learn about the process of making Scotch whiskey. And Longmorn is one of the single malts we actually use in Shivas. So you can say that Shivas and the Japanese whiskey industry have a very nice um, long relationship. And what I like to as well is that I've, I've kind of said that this is like a, a love story between Scotland and Japan where we've taken a Scotch whiskey and we've taken a part of that whiskey and we've finished it in Japanese casks, which gives a nice um, spicy sweet finish. Um, but not only is that a love story, but the gentlemen from Japan actually uh, met a nice Scottish lady in Scotland and um, brought her back to Japan and married her. So it's a very nice love story all around. Um, so that, that's kind of a really quick history for Shivas. And in terms of kind of like, why do you say regal? Um, going back to the store in those days, um, because they started being so recognized, this high quality of goods, um, the queen in her Balmoral estate actually started to order whiskies from the brothers um, and different goods from the store. So we give, we give the name regal because the brothers had a royal warrant to supply the royal family. So that is why you have Shivas regal. And the Mizunara part comes from the name of the oak that we use um, to selectively finish part of this whiskey. So um, the Mizunara tree, um, grown natively in Japan, um, must grow for at least 200 years before it's actually ready um, to go into a cask. So um, it's a really incredible whiskey. I'm sure you guys are going to go through some really nice recipes now. Um, for some reason, I, um, I decided to have a Mizunara iced coffee about 10 minutes ago. So I'm very awake and I'm very ready to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very very back of the show so thank you all for having me any questions are perfect um, otherwise I'll sit down and I'll enjoy alongside all the viewers okay Victor you are going to take oh hi thank thank you thank you so much Matthew yeah sorry I was I was I was a little I think I'm a little I'm a little drunk probably yeah <laughs> so thank you so much uh, Matthew for for coming to the show. In fact, when uh, when I heard from Elaine and Kat that Shiva's coming to the show, I was so excited because, you know, Shiva's is such a big brand and this is probably one of the biggest brands that's been on our show and I'm so proud to be associated with this brand. So, as you know, I'm more of a wine um, uh, ex so -called sommelier, but um, I'm a lover of, of, of uh, whiskey, especially scotch. And I think one of the best ways to drink scotch is really just with just a little bit of ice because you can really taste the, the flavor. And I think uh, some of the girls uh, agreed to that. But however, I also do note that um, some of our viewers out there might not be able to handle that kind of intensity. So I went to the supermarket, uh, cold storage actually, and I went through 
every possible beverage that I could, I could think, imagine. And well, there were some not so successful ones like grapefruit and root beer, which Matthew totally said no. And <laughs> since there are five of us here today, we I came up with um, five different ways of uh, drinking a whiskey. Kat, the first slide, please. Uh. Okay, so the five ways will be with, the first one will be with ginger and lemongrass cordial. The second one will be with, uh, is a whiskey sour cocktail, which will be prepared by Jerome. And third, uh, Dolly will drink the whiskey with Poka honey yuzu. And Elaine's going to make a Mitsunara highball for us. And Kat is going to drink the Mitsunara with ice. Thank you. So, I was at Cold Storage and I found this lovely cordial. I've never drank it before in my life. It's a ginger and lemongrass cordial. And I mix it with a little bit of uh, soda water and the Mitsunara. And the effect is amazing. I mean, I mean Matt, I think you were a little uh, apprehensive with how the spiciness will go with the ginger. Because, but I'm, I'm a big ginger fan and I, like, I love spice. So this is refreshing and it's um, spicy at the same time. It has a very warming effect. And I think if you are not feeling well, you don't want to do an ice version, you can also do like a, a warm version, especially if you think that alcohol is going to kill all that COVID shit. All right? But um, fantastic. Uh, try if you like ginger. It's very ginger ale-y. <laughs> Next, we're going to go on to a demo. And... Jerome is going to show us how a whiskey sour is prepared. And the ingredients of a whiskey sour is, uh, Kat, the slide please. Oh. Wow. Uh, Bartender. So you need two parts of uh, the Mitsunara with one part of lemon juice, half part of a sugar syrup, and half part of an egg white. So the egg white, the egg should be very... Uh, fresh because you're going to drink it raw and can we have the screen to Jerome because he's going to do the, um, the demo for us. Yeah. I'm doing two of the whiskey first. Wow, Jerome expert now. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. <laughs> he's serving us some jigger and pony realness. <laughs> It's got like professional tones at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Even like, more oh. professional than, than me, for sure. Yeah. If it put me to shame, Jerome, because I'm here as the ambassador with nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> well, you hired me. You hired me. It's okay. <laughs> okay, give us your best Zote. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's important that you put a lot of ice inside the blender because the idea is you want to chill it as fast as possible without diluting. Yeah. So he's going to sieve the ingredient. Amazing. Yeah. Wow, very professional. <laughs> oh. So if you have an orange slice or a maraschino cherry, that will be a perfect garnish for a whiskey sour. Do I have to throw it in or just put it at the side? Um, you, can, you can put it gently. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Would you tell us briefly how this whiskey sour tastes? Sour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think it's still okay. It's quite easy to drink. But it has a... It's like it has a certain naughtiness to the sourness. It doesn't like punch you in the face. So it just kind of like teases your tongue a little bit, which is quite good. Yeah. So okay. 
I've, this is the first time I'm actually drinking a whiskey sour, so I'm quite enjoying it. Because I'm usually a gin person or whiskey on the rocks person. So, but I think this may be something to impress friends with. Yeah. Certainly, definitely. Thank you, Jer thank you, Jerome. Yes, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, are so you impressed? I am absolutely starstruck and amazed. <laughs> so thank. So if the thing is, whiskey is a very versatile alcohol. It's been mixed into many, many different cocktail things like old fashioned, the whiskey sour. And etc. Uh, but um, I think Shivas, uh, uh, rather Matt, has come up with a, a, co a cocktail that you can make easily at home. And uh, it's called the Mizunara Ice Coffee. Cat, the slide, please. Yeah. Do you use milk or it's more like an espresso coffee? Um, I think it's better to use like a brute coffee, but I think if you do the Nespresso coffee, that's fine too. So to, okay. to make this Mitsunara iced coffee, first you fill the glass with ice. Add about 45 ml of our Shivas Mitsunara whiskey. And then 25 ml of sweetened condensed milk. Add just a pinch of salt. Stir it. And then add 25 ml freshly brewed and cooked coffee. If you have orange zest and grated hazelnut, that will be a perfect garnish. It sounds absolutely sinful, gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Big question, why salt? Salt is not really a very normal ingredient for coffee and whiskey. Why, why salt? To make yeah, it a so bit more... Salt in things, it just helps bring out the sweetness a little bit. So a lot of bars, when they're doing their recipes, will actually have a salt solution on the bar, and they'll put a tiny drop of salt solution in every cocktail, um, and it just helps bring out the sweetness and different flavours more. So the aim is that you don't know the salt's in there. The aim is that it just you get the taste of coffee, the taste of the whiskey comes through, um, it's just to add that bit of like an extra oomph, basically. And you can look really posh at home and you think of the salt inside a cocktail. Like a dropper, right? Like just like one dropper. Just, like yeah, that. just a pinch. Just a pinch. Uh, in fact, I think if you, when you make brownies or like cupcakes, it's also good to just sprinkle just a bit of salt to like, like you said, to kind of like bring out that oomph, yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to be just all sweet all the way. Yeah. Next, we're going to go on to Dolly and Dolly's going to try the Mitsunara with a Poka honey yuzu. This is amazing bitter. Okay, it okay. tastes a little sweet. Not too sweet, but happy sweet. Happy Can sweet. Tell? Yes. <laughs> yes. And um, it's very easy to drink. I might accidentally get drunk. Yeah. Okay. So just testing out, I had like a few shots going on, but I'm, I'm feeling happy. Not really feeling like, you know, too heavy. So, um, I would say, ladies, you can throw away your chocolate, your cakes, you know, during your PMS period. Just go for this. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Yeah, mm. All right. Next, we're going to go on to Elaine. And Elaine's going to make a highball. Yeah. So I was in I was in I was in Japan and I went to one of the the other distilleries, no names mentioned. And one of the practical was to really to uh, make a highball. And I'm not really a big fan of of highballs, but uh, when I made that highball, I was like, wow, it's so good. So I'm um, um, we're gonna do a a, a Mitsunara highball, uh, like a, yeah. so. First, you need to chill, uh, like a tall glass with ice, put lots of ice. Next, yep. add Next. a bit of whiskey. Okay, I think that will do, yeah. Yeah, strong on Elaine. Yeah. Why you roll so high? So I must look like... No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, so add the soda water. If you can find a premium soda water, that would be fantastic. Otherwise, you know, things from your soda stream or maybe even a Schweppes soda water will, will do as well. You see, when it comes to Victor, everything needs to be premium. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Soda stream at home, All right. they can dry. Give a, give a slight swirl from the bottom up. Bottom up, yeah? Yeah. All right. Yo. 
that's that will do. The idea is you don't want to swirl too much because you want to maintain that gas. Mm. If you have a like an orange, if you have a orange or lemon rind, that will be perfect as a garnish. Otherwise, it's perfect to drink on its own. Okay, Elaine, go for it. Yes, please. What comes up? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, um, to teach Matthew. Matthew, you know, in the clubs when they call, when they say ta means Hokkien, right? It's called dry. Dry means empty the glass. So if anybody asks you to do that, um, you gotta think carefully, you know. The, the first time you do it, it's gonna be okay, you know. Second time, third time, you might not be able to walk out of the club. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm very sure Matthew can handle. I'm very I learned sure. the hard way. Right. I learned the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lastly, it's, I'm going to go on to my favorite way of drinking this Mitsunara. And I think it's also one of the best way to appreciate such a fine whiskey. And uh, we're going to go on to Kat, who's going to just drink the Mitsunara with a bit of ice. I don't think need to do that more, right? I already poured no. inside. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try and see what you what you like about it? Oh, okay, so I can just drink her. <laughs> Everybody just uh, come together. <laughs> come, come, come. It tastes a bit different from the normal um, whiskey blend, no? Mm -hmm. mm. For me... Mm, very nice. For, for me, Kat, I think this Mitsuna... The, this Mitsunara has a lot, it's very, very fresh, it's very fruity. It it has a it has a very generous bouquet of pear, nashi pears, and blood orange for me. It's also very nutty and it has the honey note at the end, but the finish is what I really, really like. It has a very lingering, spicy finish all the way through. I think it's probably uh due to the influence of the Mitsunara cast, if I'm not wrong, Matt. Yeah. So this is a very, very good whiskey. I urge all of you to try it out for yourself. Uh, but, uh, I, but I think we have, yeah. I think Kat has something to say, yes. So usually when I drink whiskey, I find it very burning, but this one is very smooth. So this is called the very smooth kind of like um, whiskey. This yes, is a absolutely. Drink. Ladies drink. I think the help, the ice helps also. Because the yeah. ice pulls down the whiskey when it's Yeah, so when you have ice in the drink, the ice kind of um, makes the the alcohol and the flavour chemicals in the whiskey kind of put all together. So when you when you nose the glass, you'll notice there's less of an aroma there than without the ice. Um, but to be honest, with Mizunara, um, because it has, um, as I said before, it's got a really long, lingering, spicy finish. And I, I'm not the biggest fan of spice. I prefer more of like a, a sweet finish. So I add ice myself because the ice kind of dulls down the spiciness, but then ramps up the sweetness for me. And um, so personally, I actually drink with the with the ice as well. But I think the important thing with whiskey and with shavats in particular is that there's there's certain ways to taste it, and um, but always drink it how you how you enjoy it the most. That's the most important thing. And of course, absolutely. With I, I absolutely. Have a, I have a very uh, uh, thick. A question for Matthew. Um, when will you let us taste the Royal Salute? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Very good question. If you do a little of my Instagram, at Shivas Matestri, then I'll see what I can do. Okay. No tech. No tech. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Should we all cheers um, and thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Ah, okay. Cheers, guys. Yes. Ah. Thank you. Do yes. you want to do a little quick thing? Um, Scottish cheers, since you've taught me the hockey in a way. Um, ah. So in Scotland, we say to good health, we say slangeva. 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 Okay, so for our viewers, um, Shivers is giving us a bottle of uh, Shivers Mizunara to one lucky winner. So all you need to do to win this giveaway is watch this video, like and share, and tag your friends. And then follow these pages, okay? Baba Mama SG, 
is in the caption as well. Miss Eileen Heng and Chivas Regal Singapore. These three are in the caption. And the more you share and tag your friends to watch this lifestyle show, the higher the chance of winning. Contest ends on 18 June 2020, 23.59. Okay. And uh, all the details are in the Facebook caption and pinned captions later on. So stay tuned until our next segment, which is the beauty segment. Um, yes. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matt. 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 Thank you Matt. very soon.